screen. So advanced advanced rules. Advanced rules, advanced rules, whatever we call you see yeah. structures, structures, structures. Advanced rules, see yeah. Advanced rules or advanced rule structures or advanced structures. Anything they'll ask in interview or by any name. Mostly they don't remember names, so they can ask advanced account structure. They can also ask you. They can also ask in, this, in that way. Advanced account structures or mostly the common name is advanced rules. So remember this one advanced rules. What is advanced rules and why they are used? We will discuss now. Actually, this topic has to be discussed once after completion of account structure and posting some entries, but some of I want you to be more uh, I want you people to get a good hands on on the transactions posting so that it will be better if you understand it then. OK, and also if you understand the structure of I mean construction of account structure properly, then it will be easy. OK, so does anybody know what is advanced rules in? Dynamics, any one of you. Overriding rules. OK, overriding rules, not overriding rules actually. Not only for overriding. Hmm. Some part is correct. OK, anyone else? I mean, if we want to get the data for more than 11 segments, uh, this advanced rules will help us. OK, uh, if you want to add more than 10 financial dimensions, yes. One point. I agree. While preparing an ex account structure, if you want to uh, maintain, I mean, if you want to uh, give the account, I mean, if you want to maintain say, individual accounts. OK, I got your point. If yeah, you, if you want to maintain specific conditions for individual accounts or a group yes. of accounts, you can yes. use advanced rules. Yes. OK, one more right correct point. So what kind of conditions we give separately for individual accounts? Uh, might be a different uh, dimension value for okay. that uh, specific main account. OK, might be a particular dimension value. Yeah, for or... example, if we uh, if we uh, create an account structure for B and L um, in balance sheet items, but if we want to uh, if we want to uh, maintain a specific uh, dimension value for that main, main account. We will use that advanced rule. Okay, perfect. So, let me come to the point. Whatever Sushila said is right. What Vamsi told is also right. What Sairam said is also the adding point. Uh, I'll tell you. So, advanced rules are mainly used for three different purposes. Okay. So, the first purpose is when a I'll tell it in simple terms when a particular dimension value or group of dimension values has to follow a main account or group of main accounts. Main account can also be called as ledger account. OK, you can call it anything main account or ledger account. So for that we will use advanced rules. First point. So whenever when you are doing any transaction, if you want a specific dimension value to follow a specific main account, then I can use advanced rules or I can say suppose at least two three values. Only those two three values should be available whenever I do transactions with one particular account suppose cash account whenever I do do transactions with cash account cash account should be always followed by finance department. I can give a condition like that. 
so that whenever users do any transactions using cash account always financial de finance department will automatically add up to cash account so why we are doing finance well we are doing transactions we know right we'll give account plus dimension value so for in the department place finance department value will automatically pick up when we use cash account no user can override it or can't change it while doing transaction so if you want to post transaction using cash account he should always use finance department only if you use other department system will not allow or if you want to leave that department system will not allow you should definitely use it so that is a kind of condition we can give for particular main account or a group of main account suppose i say for all the asset accounts or within assets for all the inventory accounts i can give a series where it from from where it starts when where it ends so for this set of accounts i need a condition that only one dimension value or one or two dimension values should be used so user can select if i select one or two dimension two dimension values user can select any one of the dimension value while posting transaction or while creating transaction other than that too he cannot select anything okay he will have a choice in that too but if i select only one dimension value in the advanced rule then you have to particularly select that dimension value only he can't select anything else okay if it is more than one then he will have a choice in that particular amount of dimension values that you selected in the advanced rule so this is one main purpose why you we use advanced rules second purpose is when a particular dimension okay is when a particular dimension okay it is up, up to here it is same okay when a particular dimension value or group of dimension values has to follow another dimension value strictly this is the second point suppose that i am using any main account but whenever i use main account plus hyderabad combination i should definitely get sales and marketing department only or i should definitely get cost center number 1 only without cost center 1 or without giving cost center 1 or by selecting any other cost center i cannot post any transaction whenever i select hyderabad location i should definitely use cost center only that is my condition okay here you can use any main account but i gave condition to the dimension value dimension value should be followed by another dimension value that is the condition whenever i use hyderabad location cost center 1 is the applicable value or i can use only cost center 1 as the cost center value dimension value for the transaction so that's the kind of condition you want to use more than 10 financial dimensions why do we have this point any anyway, okay one is main account 10 financial dimensions one main account is definite More, definitely they will have one main account so other than main account we can only accommodate 10 financial dimensions or 10 segments within the account structure okay within the account structure line we can only give totally 11 segments one will be book for main account and 10 will be for other financial dimensions if there are any okay i clearly wrote it here 10 financial dimensions that's okay but remember that only 11 segments out of which one is main account other 10 are financial dimensions it's the most that an account structure line can accommodate so what if i want more than 10 financial dimensions in case i want cost i am using cost center department location i mean sales center most customer vendor i am using all dimensions so it cross more than 10 and now it became Suppose 11 or 12. In a coupon plus 10 financial dimensions, and if you want anything more than 10 financial dimensions, then you have you can use an advanced rule structure for the same. So you can you can give the advanced rule. I mean the financial dimension, new financial dimension, applicable for the whole account structure, or you can also give it the it is applicable for sub individual account structure, or I mean individual accounts or group of accounts, anything. Suppose that. i have a financial dimension called as customer okay so within that i have 100 values suppose i have 100 customers 100 values okay 
So this account for me is only applicable to two accounts. I only I, this financial dimension, which is having hundred values within the financial dimension, is applicable to only two main accounts. I want it only for two main accounts. That is accounts receivable domestic and accounts receivable vendors. Sorry, accounts receivable domestic and accounts receivable foreign. Two accounts. So for these two accounts receivable accounts, I want customer financial dimension to be added. So whenever they do any transaction using these two main accounts or anything related to them, then customer financial dimension should be applicable. So that's my condition. So I can give the same. I can give the same to that particular main accounts. So only two main accounts. So they, for rest of the main accounts, this customer financial dimension will not be applicable. So this I can achieve through advanced rules. OK, so this is very important to understand these three purposes of advanced rules because. When client comes up with questions, they will definitely comes up with situations where they want specific financial dimensions or specific cost center values or specific business unit values for specific main accounts. So this can be achieved only through advanced rules at least definitely in any of any client will ask for advanced rules or you have to have a good idea about advanced rules so that you can face your interview as well as you can apply the same that you learned here in business or in the project. OK, so is this three clear for all of you? If it is clear theoretically, we can go and construct advanced rules, apply and try it practically. Three, three of them work or these three conditions or purposes, how we can meet them or how we can configure and meet them. OK, I'll explain you with examples as well as it takes some time for activation of account structure. If we create advanced rules and assign to the account structure main accounts, OK, that's OK. We will see that too. Right then. So I'm going in to configure a advanced rule first. So how to configure? I'll go with an example first. So I'll first explain an example and I'll go with that example. OK, so I have an account called. Petty cash account. OK, for this petty cash account, whenever I use it, I should always get the department value as finance. OK, in department we have Values right finance, HR, sales and marketing and operations or production. Something we have four four department values we have. So whenever I use petty cash account for any transaction, I should definitely get finance department value only. So this is my condition. Understood. So in which of these three condition does it fall into? So whenever I use Hyderabad dimension value, okay? You know we have location value, right? So whenever I use location as Hyderabad, I should get cost center as cost center number one, CC one, or we what do we have? So CC one, suppose cost center number one. I should get whenever I use Hyderabad location. Okay, so to which condition does it falls to? The second Sorry. condition. Correct. Then I want to use another dimension other than what we have in the what what are the three dimensions we have location department and cost center okay only for my asset accounts okay only for my asset account that starts with one series okay that starts and ends with one series only for my asset accounts i want another financial dimension okay i'll call it i'll call it only for asset accounts that starts with one series I want if I want specific financial dimension, not value. So okay, I can use any value in that dimension, but I want that specific financial dimension completely. So that financial dimension I want is uh, let me go for customers. Let us see if we have any value in the customers or not, but however I'll use customers. OK, or any other will change it later. So this condition will fall into the third situation. OK. Assume that we have more than 10 financial dimensions or in case if we don't have more than 10 also, if I want it specifically for some accounts, then we can create advanced rules. No problem. You don't have to add them in the account structure. No need. You can create it in the advanced rule. I'll show you that how we can do it. So let's go with the construction of three of them. OK, so first of all, I'll show you how we can create a advanced rule structure. Then we can go and add it to the account structure. Okay. 
So it is two parts. First we have to configure the advanced rule structure. Then we have to go and add it to the account structure, whatever the account structure where these accounts exist. Okay, for that, for configuration of advanced rule structure, I'm going into general ledger. Within general ledger, again chart of accounts. Here I have chart of accounts, right? Let me close all these menus for you first to simply make you understand. Okay, 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 okay. One second, let me duplicate this tab. So here, within general ledger, I have chart of accounts. So within chart of accounts, I have structures. And within structures, I have advanced rule structures. General ledger, chart of accounts, structures, and we, previously we used this to configure account structures. I hope you remember. Today we are discussing this one advanced rule structure and how to configure advanced rule structures. Okay. Here I click on advanced rule structure, write down the navigation. Okay. General ledger, chart of accounts structures and advanced rule structures. Click on advanced rule structures. Here I have few advanced rule structures which most of them are active and few are in draft shaders. That's OK. We can create our own advanced rule structure for our purpose. So for first example, which we are discussing. I want only finance department value, right? So I'll create advanced rule only for finance department value. So for what is the finance department value? How we can see what is the value for finance department or the number for finance department? I want to see the number code for finance department. How can I see it? What is the easy? Okay. And MRF I have three. So to easily track them, I gave name as MRF. So if I go to location, I can see location values here, dimension values. OK, but my condition is that I need department right here, finance department. So let us go and see the value for finance department. Oops. Here, close this, go back, department. What's wrong? I did not click on anything. OK, lost it. MRF department dimension values. So what is the finance department value? Two double zero, right? Perfect then. Then to create advanced rule structures, again I'm going here, general ledger structures. Advanced rule structures. So within this, get advanced rules here in this advanced rules page. General ledger, chart of accounts, structures, and advanced rule structures. As you can see, the navigation here in the top. Okay. So click on new to create an advanced rule structure. Just give a name for it. So what is the purpose of our advanced rule? I can give that name, same name. So petty cash and finance department, right? So I'll just give the same. Petty cash. Finance. Okay. Just for example sake, okay, we can give any names as you wish or convenient names according to the situation. Just click OK. Here, once I click on OK, more or less it looks like account structure only. Okay, do not get confused. So you can add segment here. It is a, it will be empty. It won't bring a main account directly like in a in an account structure, but here you can add whatever the segment you want. For me, if I want to add, what is the segment that I want to add according to my example here? So since I want to add the finance value, finance will be under departments, right? So department is my segment. If I click on add segment here, I can see that segments here, the dimensions, financial dimensions. So within this MRF department is my financial dimension that I have to select. So within that I will select another value. OK, here I am selecting this and select on. Add segment. So I can see star mark here. 
So what is the meaning of this star mark? Any value that I have under financial dimension department, I can assign it. OK. Uh, if at all I want uh, a, I mean blank value also then. Go down, just click on this one. Yeah. Blank values are allowed and it will bring this symbol. OK, if at all I want only one specific value as in my example, I want only finance department, right? I don't want other department then. What to do? To, what to do? Now? Move this. So I know that finance department value is 200, right? So I'll give the same value here, 200. Perfect. Only 200, which means I only need fi this finance value. So it is configured. Done. Guys, you can also add as many segments as you want. You can add department plus location. You can add department. Uh, if I want uh, this 200 plus, I mean department is 200. Cost center should be uh, cost center one. Suppose then I can add another segment here. That's how it works. I'll show you it in another example. OK, don't worry. So for now I am using department. Department is 200. OK. Then I mean I can Validate this and activate. There is no point of validation. We, have sim we selected a simple condition. We only have one thing with one one line as well as only one condition that does not overlap to each other. So I can simply activate this one. Click on activate. It will slowly get activated. So here if you want in batch processing, it will run in the batch processing. If you want it on the screen, you can say run it on the screen. Just click on activate on the screen. Steven, though if I click on the screen, it directly take me to bad job only. So now it is in activating status. It will take some time and it will become active. OK, here I have here. It is here activating. OK, so this is one way of configuring an advanced rule structure. It's a very simple like advanced rule structure that we have configured. Just create a new gave a name in the ad segment. Since we have we want only one dimension value finance department value. I've selected department MRF department as the segment and within that I gave the unique value. So I got that unique value from this navigation which we which I asked you previously. 200 we have right so 200 is the finance department so I gave it here. Then the next step is later I will go and add this to petty cash account in my account structure. I will link it first but petty cash account. OK, when I use that particular account, I'll always get this dimension value only. So that that adding part we will see in the next after configuring these three examples. We will see how we can link them to. Advanced structure, I mean, sorry, account structure or to the accounts in the account structure or the two other dimension values in the account structure. We see we will see that then. OK. Then I'll use one more this one cost center one. OK, so if I want to create a advanced rule for cost center one. OK, advanced rule structure. How can I create? Just try, try to guide or navigate me. So this click on you. I'll generally give it as CC one as the name. OK, cost center one CC one. OK. So I think it's all it with that name. We already have one. OK, let us go for this. Cost center one okay, detail name. Created. Now what? Click on add segment. OK. We need only cost center number one, so I am going for cost center. I'm going for dimension values. OK, what is the dimension value of cost center one? It is CC slash. We can select the same here. Copied it going to advanced rule. I'll remove this star and I'll give that CC one. Perfect. Then. I can activate it. So whenever a user use this advanced rule, I mean we will assign this to Hyderabad location. Actually, we'll go to account structure. We will link it to Hyderabad location. So whenever they use Hyderabad location in the combination of any main account, they should definitely get cost center one as a follow up cost center for the transaction. OK, that is my condition. That is the same example we have discussed previously. We'll try to apply this also. We'll We'll add this in the account structure for that Hyderabad location value. I'll show you how to add it. So this is these are the primary steps. OK, so 
so now this is also act i mean this is getting activated okay this is activating and this is active already so not this one petty cash finance here we have this one is active now i'll create one more okay for the i said like i said right for asset accounts only for asset accounts i need customer dimensions only for asset accounts i need customer dimension so i can give it here sets customer control a c yep copy paste done here i have so let me go and search if i have this segment custom customers um customer here i have customer okay i'll just add this customer here i want all values guys i this is an additional financial dimension that i'm using where i have want to use all the values so let me see if there are any values in the customers or not at least customer is here go to dimension values right we have few values okay so belonging to different different legal entities no problem but still we have some values in the customers okay i am using this customer financial dimension value this i am not using any specific i mean customer financial dimension i am using i am not using any specific value then i can use any of them i'm giving star here i can use any of the customer value but i should definitely use one one second guys one second please my agenda is to add it only for specific main account that to only asset account that starts with one series and ends with one series okay that is why i'm selecting a new financial dimension which is not there in the account structure with, with and i am selecting all the values are accepted uh, empty value is not accepted that's my condition okay all the values except the empty value then i'll also activate this one activate this so it will take a while to get activated so other two are active as i can see cost center one this this one is still activating okay but this one is active petty cash finance department okay takes a while to get activated so once it is activated we can use the same in the account structure so since i have this activated already let's go and use this some I in this one petty cash and finance okay let's go and use it in our account structure okay so this is the first step to create any advanced rule first you have to define the condition advanced rule what value you have to use or how many values you want to use suppose that in this example i want to use two values then what i want to do what i can do here i want to use can use conditions here or i can give normal and symbol here or both of them will work okay i can give 200 dot dot and 201 i can give I mean, 200 to 201, we will have only two values, right? If I want more, 200 to 202, 200 and 201 and 202 will be available for selection. So in the same way, you can select as many values you want. And for and symbol, we have this double uh, semicolon, I guess, full stop and comma, which is above and under. The keyboard beside L symbol, beside L. we have this symbol mostly we can use that if you want i mean if you want multiple values you can use that here i am i want only one value right so i'm using only one so let us see if these two are also activated yeah so now you can see all of them are active cost center one is active petty cash and finance is active as well as the last one what we have created assets and customer right this one so this is also active all the three are active now so the thing is that you have to definitely active them they should be in active status if you have edit it it will again go back to draft status and again you have to activate it okay now three of them are in active status the next step that we are going to do is going and linking them to the account structure so here i go 
in this page i'll go to account structure general ledger chart of accounts structures configure account structures we can see it here so under configure account structures we have two account structures for mrf legal entity one for profit and loss one for balance sheet right so first condition what is our first example to the petty cash account we have to give finance department right so petty cash account is, is a asset so it will be in balance sheet account structure here so i want to give for that particular account i want to give the condition this advanced rule only de department value should be finance department so in that case i can go to the account structure here click on it open it so here i have the option called as advanced rules so anyway it, you have to edit it if you want to add any advanced rule so just click on edit here here once you edit it the status will change from active to draft okay under draft i mean here i can click on advanced rules click on advanced rules i can add advanced rules here so i'll show you once again we are in the account structure page i edited the account structure now it is in draft status so once after editing it you can click on advanced rules so if you want to only check the advanced rules not to make any changes then no need to click on edit you can go and click on advanced rules and check what are the rules you have okay if you click on edit it will go to draft and users cannot post any transactions until and unless it is activated once again okay so whenever you have to make any changes make sure that no users no users will be affected so normally in, in business perspective so in your demo environment you can because you are the only one who uses it right so you can edit any time now it is in draft status here i click on advanced rules and i can add advanced rules here so i'll show you how to add advanced rules to the three rules that we have created right so how to add them to particular criteria criteria means here the my criteria is only to petty cash account i need this first rule that we created so i'll add it to only petty cash account so how to do that we'll see okay here i am going click on new once i click on new i'll get here the same kind of name advanced rule and all i'll give the same name okay petty cash fin i can give any name but I'll just give the same name petty cash and fin okay click on create so it is created in this creation i see one is criteria third second is advanced rule so I, i'll get the name normally so the status is also in draft anyway when the when you activate the account structure automatically this will also get activated here okay here i gave a name okay until here but my criteria is that i want it only for petty cash account right so in criteria i'll select petty cash account here i can click on add criteria if i click on add criteria i can select either a main account or financial dimension anything i can select in this account structure i only have two financial dimensions for our balance sheet account structure we don't have cost center right so it shows main account plus location plus department anything you can select any one you can select sorry i'm selecting main account so under main account for which account or for what all accounts you want this particular condition so what is our agenda is only for petty cash account we i have to enter the petty cash account number here main account is 1 lakh 1 suppose i think 1 lakh 1 is the petty cash account right i can add it here if i want a group of accounts suppose or if i want a group of accounts from once one series completely then i can change this one begins with suppose if i say begins with whatever that begins with one means the main account any main account that begins with one means all the asset accounts so this is how we can give right or i can give is between and includes to is between and includes means our first asset account starts from 1 lakh final asset account starts we ends with 1 lakh 99999 like this main account so i can give any main account or any group of main accounts or set of main accounts here may again remember it only works with series you can't randomly give any main account like if you want for 1 lakh account 1 lakh 5 account 1 lakh 7 account you can't give it here because in the between accounts you don't need right so here if you give like this it will select all the accounts which are in between from 1 lakh to 1 lakh 5 
for all the six accounts. But if you want it specifically for one lakh and one lakh five, you can only give two conditions. So here you can select is one lakh and again you have to create new advanced tool. Main account is one lakh five and you can give the same here. So for now I am selecting only petty cash here and I am adding that advanced rule structure we have created. What is the advanced rule structure we have created for this example? Petty cash and finance department, right? So I am adding it here. Petty cash and finance department. Right, it is done now. I am selected the criteria. Criteria is that only for petty cash account I want this rule, which is finance department, right? Only MRF department within that I we have selected finance department, right? So not for this one. Sorry, petty cash account is one lakh. I'm so sorry. That is for cash account. OK, so petty cash account is one lakh. So for one lakh account, I want finance department only. So I gave this advanced rules that we have created here in advanced rule structure. We have created right this one so that I have added here. First, I have selected the criteria confusion in this. Anyone? Yeah, can you can you please explain the criteria part? Criteria part is to which all main accounts this is applicable that you can select here. So as I told you for in our example, we only need for our petty cash account. Department should be finance, so department should be finance is this advanced structure, whatever that we have con configured previously that says that department is finance. So system does not know to which account we have to apply it. So we have selected one account petty cash account here. Main account is petty cash. So only for petty cash account whenever we use it any transaction department finance will automatically follow it and Caesars also cannot override it or change it or remove it. They have to definitely use that particular dimension value to post any transaction along with the combination of this petty cash account. If at all I need it for a group of accounts. Suppose starting from one one lakh to one lakh fifty thousand. I can give it like this selecting different condition select between and includes two. And select one lakh to one lakh fifty thousand, so that for all those accounts it will be applicable. Only finance department is applicable. Whenever I do any transaction using any of those accounts, I should definitely select finance department in the department value. Check the main accounts numbers as well, so that when it would be easy, we can create. So main accounts bear some time, guys. Give me ten more minutes or fifteen minutes. We can finish this. Or at least we can finish the configuration part. So I mean general ledger. Accounts and main accounts for MRF. So petty cash account is. It's loading. Petty cash account is one lakh two. I'm so sorry. It's not one lakh one. So going to advanced rules. I'm sorry. I'm changing this to one lakh two. OK. Petty cash account here is one lakh two here in the main accounts. I don't want to a series of accounts, but I want it for another unique account. Another account other than petty cash. So in that case you have to select that account. Suppose I want it for this. Uh, bills receivable account which is. One lakh ten thousand here you can see right one lakh ten thousand account. So if I want to do it for this account again, I'll select it and I'll create. New advanced rule here just like this. Bills finance I'll give I'll give the same name here. Bills and finance create one. So what is the criteria enough? Here. Criteria is that bills receivable account only. So I'm selecting bills receivable account here. Here if we have selected only petty cash account here I have selected bills receivable account for this account also we want the same rule only finance department rule. So I should have given this rule name as finance department other than petty cash and finance. That's OK here. We have only finance department right in the department value. I'll add it here. So now I have two rules. So whenever I use these two accounts either petty cash or either bills bills receivable account. What is there? I mean here bills receivable one lakh ten thousand account. In if any any of these two accounts, if I use it, I should definitely get department value as finance. Right. Then let me go for this one, the third rule. So for all the asset accounts, I need customers financial dimension value. Right. So any idea how we can do this? Anyone? Anyone? 
my requirement is that for all the asset accounts that start with one series. OK, I should get customers dimension value customers dimension. Sorry, not dimension value. All the values in the customers can be. Selected, but I mean we have. Yeah, so, okay, new criteria. Criteria is for one main account or a group of main accounts. OK, here in this example, number three, our criteria is all asset accounts. So we have to select the criteria as asset accounts here. Yeah. So in for that, what can we do? Any OK, select is between and includes and then. We'll start from one lakh to and ends with one lakh ninety nine thousand nine ninety nine, right? So I can give it like this one lakh to. One lakh. So this is my criteria for all the asset accounts that I'm selected here. I'll get I'll apply this rule, whatever rule I want. So I have created a rule, right? Asset and customer rule here. Only custom customer financial dimension and within that we give star symbol it means all the values are accepted. So I'll add it here. If you want to see the condition in this, you can just click here. It will directly take you to the advanced rule you have created. So we have created customer and gave star symbol, right? So for all these accounts, whenever we use any of these asset accounts, we should we should we can select any of the customer value, but we should definitely select customer value because we gave only star symbol means we should definitely select one. So that is the criteria. We can also use it like this begins with one. OK, when, whenever an account that begins with one. It is applicable means only asset accounts will begin with one, right? We all know that. So system also will know that whatever the account that begins with one main account, this rule will be applicable. So that's all. That's how we can configure the third rule. I mean for the second one for one specific look dimension value we have to give another dimension value to follow up right this is our condition so here criteria will not be main account criteria will be another so we will also configure this and i'll show you quickly okay go on new so hyderabad plus cost center one is our agenda right hyderabad plus cost center one give the same here i'll give the same here so then here I have to select the criteria whenever I select Hyderabad dimension value in any transaction. I should see cost center value following it. So live about the main account. I can use any main account in the account structure in this account structure is having one one series to three series, right? So any account in this one series to three series I use whenever I use Hyderabad value to them, then I should definitely get cost center one as a follow up value. OK, so that is my condition. So for that I will add criteria here. So my criteria is not main account. My criteria is Hyderabad. So I'll select location here. So location I select. So Hyderabad location value is 100, right? So I'll select 100. Location is 100. So which means like whenever I select Hyderabad value, I should definitely get this dimension value followed with cost center value. So I will add that advanced rule we have created. CC cost center one rule here I have right MRF cost center. I'll select that. So if I open this, I can see right CC one we have configured already. So the condition here explained like for this criteria we have selected this advanced rule structure will be applicable. The criteria we selected is Hyderabad value only Hyderabad. Whenever I select location as Hyderabad, I should get cost center in the as a follow up value. That is my condition. So I gave all the three conditions or I have added all the three conditions here. One thing you have to remember is what is the criteria we need and what is the result we are looking for? So criteria we need for is here in this example criteria is we need Hyderabad for Hyderabad dimension value. Whenever we select in any transaction, we should get cost center one as a follow up value. So I that for that sake I have created cost center one here. Suppose my thing is like for Hyderabad and Bangalore both of them then I'll select this one is between and includes so Hyderabad is 100 right for Bangalore it is 101 so either 100 or 101 if I use any value I should get cost center as CC one only so I can give condition like this if I want only Hyderabad I can give it like this is Hyderabad. 
again you can add another criteria main account criteria if you want but you can add only one criteria once okay you either you can add location one i mean you can add three of them separately but you can't add two main account criteria one at a time suppose that if i have created mrf location here again i, I can't add mrf location see i can't see it it's used once so you can give condition here only in the previous example where sushil asked for main account one and another main account here only i can give no i can't give it only once i can select main account the other time i can select what is the left over dimensions what we have we can, i can select that only only department is left over right so i can select it as the criteria i can also select dual criteria when main account is as main account starts with one and location value is hyderabad for for that main accounts only this is applicable we can select it like this for that i have to select main account in the top and location in the next actually i'll show you that if you want so i'll just click new so generally if i do this like this it is applicable for all the i mean if if i if i do it like this it is applicable for all the main accounts in the account structure for all the main accounts when i select 100 i mean when i select the combination of hyderabad location then i should definitely get cost center as the follow up value that is my condition okay in case if i want only for specific accounts when i select hyderabad location i should get cost center then i can select it like this i can select first main account criteria i can select main account begins with l select suppose only for liability accounts that start with two series right we know all liability start with two series so only for liability accounts whenever i select location is hyderabad i should collect i should get cost center one so I, if i select like this criteria as this and rule as this then for asset accounts i have i will have liberty this rule is not applicable for asset account this rule is applicable only for the account that starts with two series i can give double criteria also if i want if i don't want i can take it off so only for hyderabad location i'll give only for hyderabad location cost center one will follow up i can use any main account i don't have criteria criteria for main account okay then i'll go back and i once rules you have to activate the account structure